It's your host, Michael A. T. the Maverick. Let's talk about a few things today, mainly touching on the coronavirus, COVID-19. All right, so let me flip the switch just a little bit. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. All right, what are we talking about? Now, let's take it to the street. All right. Your immune system is really being attacked. And with all due respect, you have a weak immune system. All your money, all your possessions, all your cars and houses, that could go in a flash now. <laughs> the very things that you believe added value to your life, you ain't gonna be carrying that stuff to your grave. All right, so let's talk about love. Now, I'm gonna take it to the street. The street kids and the homeless. You see, this is one of the reasons that I'm struggling with the concept of social distancing and hygiene. All right, I got my stuff. I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can. But I'm thinking at the same time that I ain't never seen, to come to think about it, I ain't never seen a street kid with a flu. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really trying to think, like, I ain't seen these kids covering the faces, you know what I mean? I ain't seen them covering the faces. I probably seen just like a handful of street kids with a cough, like and the homeless. Like these guys is eating out of bins and trash cans and well they are their immune systems are tough. Like, they, they can handle a lot. So, really, when I think that the first shall be last and the last shall be first, the people that we look down upon, we better start to look to them. Because when we're all said and done, and if this is a reset button for many, and maybe for the universe, and for mankind, then I guess they'll be the ones who will remain with the stuff. Just thinking. Well, I was giving my brother Bernardo yesterday some hand sanitizer, just sharing with a brother on the street, but you see, Would it really help? Like who's taking care of them on the street? Who's taking care of the homeless? Who's taking care of the kids that can't... Uh, like you don't even allow them to wash their hands within your shops because you chase them before they even get to your shop. So really, are you protecting anybody? Is the government even in a position to provide for them? Y'all talking about, yeah, quarantine yourself, lock yourself in a house, don't move around. What about the people who ain't got no houses? Where they gonna lock themselves up in? Like, I'm, I'm really just trying to get, I'm really just trying to think. People ain't got no roofs over their heads, yet you want them to quarantine themselves. Quarantine themselves in what? Like in a bin? Like, like. They're homeless. They're eating through, eating from trash cans. Quarantine themselves where? Because the government ain't providing no shelters, no homeless facilities. At least not here. The orphanages are full and they let go kids after they like 16 or 18 quarantine themselves where <laughs> like is anybody thinking in that direction 
don't they account for don't they, don't they count for something in our society? I know they can't cast no votes, so I guess you don't really care about them. Can't even get no NRCs, so I guess they don't count. Where you gonna bury them? The graveyards are full. The hospitals won't accommodate them. Quarantine them where? I'm talking about the homeless and the street kids, bro. Quarantine them where? You think they can afford to buy food? They can't even afford to buy toilet tissue. I don't see why people are not just using water. Oh, wait, sorry. We suffering with water as well. We go weeks without having water in the in the pipes and whatnot. What we gonna drink? How we gonna freshen up? How we even gonna wash our hands? Those are the, those are the questions they are asking. Like I'm thinking to myself, some showers out here, some mobile showers. I'm trying to initiate that. I don't know how. I gotta figure it out. So at least they can have a place to wash their hands and just stay real and just keep clean. I'm giving my brother Bernardo some hand sanitizer yesterday. Homemade hand sanitizer. And we just laughed about it. I don't know. Ask yourself. What's being done for them? Otherwise, the numbers just go up. And if you only care about yourself, well, I don't know. Stay blessed. My name is Michael A.T., the Maverick. Those are my vibes and my struggles. Uh, these are my vibes. Struggling to get around the whole social distancing when I have to think of the, about the people on the street. I'm struggling. I ain't even gonna lie to you. The other week, a young girl came to me. She said, Uncle Michael. I'm walking away. And she said, Uncle Michael, I'm trying to talk to you, but you're walking away. So I said, Oh, shit. Sorry. So I stopped walking and she said, Uncle Michael, I've got sores. I knew what she was talking about. And I froze for a second. And she said, I got sores, Uncle Michael. Four guys got a hold of me yesterday. And I want to give her some of my medication. It crossed my mind too fast. I knew where where she was referring to and I know you know what I'm talking about that's what's up that's what's happening on the street bro it's real you just go and close your eyes because everything's okay for you I don't think that's the way to go now is the time that you have to help more than ever Doctors is helping you. Now is the time you gotta help others more than ever. More than ever. It's real out here. Y'all talk about standards. Y'all wanna talk about only the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Really, is that how it should be? The rich can't get rich if they don't have the poor to exploit. So why don't y'all rich folk take care of the poor folk? That way you can get rich. See? That's what I'm talking about. The abuse in the street is real. The cases, the rape cases, the abuse in the street. All these things ain't accounted for. They just... Stay silent about him. As long as he don't affect you, it's okay. 
Michael A.T., the Maverick. I'm over and now.